Hey guys, what's up? This is Chris Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm a TGN TV guys, and today I'm back again for a little bit more Worgen Hunter action. Hell yes, guys. I'm going to be doing some awesome gameplay or some not so awesome gameplay, whatever. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. But before I get into that, I do got to make a few shout outs here. First off, Chromar. What's the Chromar situation? I told you guys last time that that bastard did not make me a sandwich. And because he didn't, when I asked him, he's in my fucking attic. Well, guess what? I also told you guys that if you got 250 thumbs up or more on that video, I would let him out. And we've actually got 380 thumbs up now, guys. That is the most thumbs by anybody at TGN ever. And that's all because of you guys. And your, dis your need to get Chromar out of the fucking attic. So he's out. Yeah, you guys done it. Awesome. Um, so kudos to you guys. Another couple things. You guys left me a shit ton of comments, which is always awesome, guys. Uh, I got like 170 comments. I also got like 380 thumbs up, which is just ridiculous. And uh, better yet, uh, I got two video responses, so I thumbs those up, sent the approvals through. Guys, by responding and helping me out, you're helping me out personally. I'm turning into a, like, not a total fail gamer anymore, and that's important. <laughs> but uh, you're helping out the community, and uh, you got Chromar out of the fucking attic, so awesome. Kudos to everybody. Uh, good deal. Second thing, guys, Razor Naga. All right, I got that two days ago, and it is awesome. It is my second favorite toy in the whole world. My favorite toy... I was born with, it's attached to me. My second favorite toy, I don't want to get nailed for saying something totally inappropriate, but trust me, I'm thinking it, but my second favorite toy is the Razor Naga, guys. I have that in my hand almost as much as, yeah. So anyways, uh, it's pretty awesome, guys. The Razor Naga is awesome. The buttons are not that close together. It looks close, they're, they, it looks more uh it looks harder than it really is to, to do it uh also if you put these little um training pad things on them uh it, it allows you to kind of like use this braille system so that you you know don't slip your hands together it's hard to explain i might do a video on it sometime um but bottom line is the razor naga is kick-ass you should get one if you're not sure uh other things guys Patch 4.0.6 came out like a week ago. I know I'm not <laughs> not on the ball. If I was any slower, I'd be on a fucking leash. I, I realize that. I'll deal with it. But uh, seriously, um, I need to know what your guys' opinion on opinion is as to how things worked out for the Hunter class. Um, was Hunter nerfed overall? I think they were. Um, but uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. And then particularly, the three different specs. Before the patch, survival uh, was doing crazy DPS, and the other two were like, I don't know, they were like little blue bus children, like just not all that good, okay? Like, you know, okay, the survival guy, you get to kick some ass, and then, you know, Beastmaster and uh, Marksman, well, here's a coloring book, you fucking retards. Um, so I don't know if that's changed or not, but my suspicion is um, it's a little bit more balanced, but please let me know. Um, leave me comments, send me a link. Um, or even better yet, make a video and explain it to me. If you make, if you do a video up, I will approve them. I approve every single one of them as long as it's remotely related to something. Um, if it's not related to something, I still might approve it if I think it's funny. <laughs> I'm weird like that. Uh, what else can I tell you? A couple other things here. Um, guys, last video I did some keybinds and I keep changing them up. I got flamed a couple times for having some stupid keybinds. But guess what, guys? I got my new mouse, so I'm not sure how I want to do it. And uh, I'm still thinking it over. So... Uh, the keybinds are a work in progress. Uh, now that I got a Razor Naga, though, please let me know what you guys do if you've got a Naga, what kind of keybinds you use and how you do it. That would be killer. Um, and uh, last thing, guys, I'm going to be doing topics like macros, add-ons, shit like that in the coming days. And uh, if you've got particular add-ons you use or if there's some macros that um, that you like to set up, do up a, send me a message, leave me a message, explain to me why. Do a video. I mean, even if it's a video saying, hey, Big C... I know you're retarded, and because of that, here's how you make a macro from point A to point B. Uh, that would be awesome too, guys. And uh, the last thing, guys, I want to apologize to my girlfriend on uh, Valentine's Day. Uh, I didn't go see her. Instead, I stayed at home and played Warcraft because I'm a fucking boss. And uh, part two, um, yeah, guys, uh, the other thing was is she actually called me or she texted me. She texted me first, and she's like, Curtis... Uh, or Big C, because she sometimes calls me Big C, um, and it's not because I'm all that big. <laughs> uh, but uh, she's like, Big C, you know, it's Valentine's Day, I want to see you, I want you to make me feel special. And I thought about that, and I'm like, I haven't made her feel special, so I bought her a helmet, 
and a whistle, and a little blue bus pass. Mm. So anyways, guys, sorry, I don't mean to be an asshole, but uh, actually, yeah, I do. This is Big Sam with TGN Games. Enjoy the video. Flame the shit out of me. Fuck, make fun of my mother. Punch a midget. Do whatever you do. Big C, enjoy. All right, welcome back, guys. Thanks for putting up with my rant there at the beginning. Always appreciated. Let's get into some gameplay now, shall we? Guys, I don't have a whole lot here that's going to be, like, crazy interesting to you, but uh, this is more of a exploration of things uh, as opposed to, you know, me taking down a specific boss. Uh, first things first, you're going to look at my key bindings here. I have changed them. Keep in mind that I have the Razor Naga now. Now, my key bindings are clearly not optimally set up, um, partly because I'm still experimenting, but... Uh, mostly because I'm not 100% sure what the best way to do this is. Um, with the Naga, I can tell you right now that I don't have any problems really going up through the first about 8 buttons. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12 can be a little tricky to access depending on how I've got my hand. Uh, so, uh, But the first 8 aren't a problem. I have Men, Pet, and Disengage on Q and E. Uh, I'm not sure if that's best, but right now, uh, those are kind of like very accessible keys for me, obviously. Uh, they used to be the strafe keys, but uh, I've changed strafe to A and D at this time. And it still feels a little awkward, I can't lie, because I don't have turn left or, or turn right. I have to use the mouse for that. Uh, this is probably the right way to go in the long run, but uh, who knows. Um, but uh, anyways, let's look at this. So my first thing I threw on a hunter's mark, I sent my pooch into battle. And then I just lay on the uh, arcane shot. Obviously, it's a little bit easy here for some of these smaller guys. Uh, for some of the bigger ones, I obviously use uh, I'll use um, serpent sting there uh, to start off to get some uh, ag uh, not aggro, pardon me, but to get some damage over time. Uh, after, of course, I've uh, put the hunter's mark on him, and uh, I send my old Rufus in, uh, and he gets shit done. He's got uh, I took off cower here in my last video. Uh, somebody did point out that I had both cower and growl and all that crap on all at once. So my pet was a little bit uh, unsure what to do with himself. <laughs> so uh, that was uh, very cool. That was actually by Skinny D 0 He suggested I turn off cower. So good for him and thanks again. Um, uh, all right, so what else do we got here, guys? Uh, let's just read some of the comments here. Uh, for a hunter, for example, uh, King A Team 2. Uh, he suggested very recently that, uh, obviously, for Hunter, you want to go Agility, Haste, and Stamina. And that makes perfect sense. So, um, that's what I'm trying to uh, gear up for. Uh, let's see here. I'm just casting Eagle Eye. I'm doing that because I don't know what the hell this really is for. Uh, kill Command, obviously, is epic, especially if you're a Beastmaster like I am. So, I've put that on the 8 slot, and I've taken out Raptor Strike because, as uh, Skinny D says, suggests... Uh, if, uh, they're, uh, if the mobs are within melee range, I'm probably doing things wrong. So Raptor Strike seems a little bit unnecessary. Uh, my better use of my time would be to get the F out of there. So anyways, uh, let's take care of that. I'm taking this uh, Lifeblood shit off and I'm putting Multi-Shot on, I think. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that on the 9. Uh, I want to be. It's a harder to access button for me, but that's not an accident. Uh, pressing 9 means I have to really mean to do it. Um, so, uh, I don't, you know, click multi-shot and then, you know, piss off an entire effing mob or a bunch of mobs and just tune on me. So that's not going to happen. Um, and, um, uh, got this undead bitch in my sights, Eliza, what's up? You're going to bring the doggy out to deal with you. Rufus, get me a paper and get ready to go into battle. Okay, guys, I also got immolation trap. This is my first trap. All right, every time. It's my first time here, guys. So I'm going to throw that bad boy down. And, uh, oh, look at that. Michael Jackson. Slide to the left, slide to the right. Giddy up. And I'm going to get this friggin' woman on fire, just like MJ, when they drop the sign on his head. Okay, in goes the dog. Hunter Mark is on. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, and he, she walks over the trap, and it was successful. Epic. Okay, she's immolating. I disengaged. Uh, to make distance between me and her to fire off a couple more arcane shots and I'm not sure but it almost looked like I was doing it right there guys <laughs> I don't know about that but it looked pretty good so um, I'm starting to get the hang of shit uh, let's see here what else can I tell you um, 
Uh, what else? Uh, yes. Um, Mend Pet was also discussed uh, quite a bit uh, in my previous uh, video. Hitman Bloodhunter, who's actually a new guest director uh, in the TGN crew. Uh, he made a couple uh, really good uh, suggestions here. One, I've seen his channel, by the way, and uh, it's quite good, so kudos to him. Um, yeah, I can actually go get Men Pet, which keeps my uh, pet healed. Obviously, I did not have that hot keyed up in my last one, so uh, apologizing for being a total effing noob. And uh, Intimidation is also important, too. Uh, and I'm going to talk about that, but also, <laughs> you're going to notice that I just tried out Tame Beast for the first time. Um, I've tried Tame Beast before on, on people that I've dated, but uh, not in World of Warcraft. And it was a success. I now have a freaking owl. Bird of prey. Let's check this bird out. Yeah, it looks pretty nasty. Uh, it's got all sorts of cool stuff. Um, oh, not happy. Unhappy bird. Or unhappy owl. Hmm. Let's feed him some heart-shaped cookies. No. How about some tough condor meat? There you go. You like that shit? Whoa, whoa, bitch, okay, I hear ya. What the fuck? You don't have to be so angry. Okay, so I'm feeding my bird. I don't know if this is a good pet or not, guys. I don't even really know how to properly gauge what the best pets are. Um, one of the things that freaks the shit out of me is that it says if I go to dismiss the pit, no, pardon me, if I go to abandon the, the pet, not the pit, Christ. If I go abandon the pet, it says I can never summon it back again. Does that mean forever, ever, ever? Like, outcast forever, ever? Or or does that mean, like, you know, I have to go retame it um, kind of thing? I don't want to think that I'm going to tame a bunch of pets, and then if I don't like them, I can never have them back again. That would be kind of shitty. Um, but uh, whatever. And check this shit out. Trick. I mean, I don't know what that is, but I'm digging it. If you've used a bird as a pet before, please let me know what trick is, because uh, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, anyways, and the pet has a lot of cool things that, uh, um, other, like, my, my Rufus, my doggy, didn't have, right? Like, it's, like, got, like, talons and shit, and it'll pull your weapon out or something like that. Like, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Um, the fucking bear's hibernating. This is bizarre. That's not very, guy, if you're gonna hibernate, you go away for the winter. You don't go away for, like, four seconds. Okay, but whatever. I'm not mad. And I gave it the kill command. That was actually... I haven't used that very much yet. But uh, that skunk's looking menacing. You're gonna get it, little skunk. You're not gonna friggin' stink face me, you little bastard. Um, yeah, so anyways. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, I show, oh, I look like I critical hit that fucker. Excellent. Um, yeah, guys. So anyways... Um, yeah, a little bit of a, a little bit of a what the fuck video here, but um, at the same time, uh, it's very helpful. I just cast men pet by accident. Oops, but I disengaged, which looked pretty good. Strafing to the left, I have unbound my back pedal key, and uh, yeah, I kind of took that guy out. Nice. Uh, so uh, look at my traps. What else can I ask you guys here? Uh, another couple things, guys. For, I, I mentioned it briefly in my little prelude, uh, or my preface, so to speak. Uh, I'm looking at trying some add-ons uh, out. Uh, I mean, obviously, I can go through trial and error, and that works. And I can also look at, uh, you know, other websites and, you know, log into my Elitist Jerks account and all that crap. I'm not an Elitist Jerk, but I do read their forums every once in a while. But, you know, that just feels kind of douchey to me. Uh, so if you guys play a hunter, uh, let me know what add-ons you use. Uh, that would be very helpful to me because I will um, I will check them out. I'll add them in, and uh, we'll go from there. I mean, right now I'm eyeing up bartender. I believe that one's an important one, but uh, uh, that's because there's been lots of messages left regarding it. Also, uh, there's been messages uh, suggesting that I didn't even use any add-ons. Uh, I should just rely on macros, and by the way, I'm not very good at making macros yet either, so I have to uh, I have to think that over as well. Um, I haven't made my very first macro, uh, and as I said in my beginning video, guys, please leave me uh, comments, but also leave me videos. I approve them all. If you've got a video of you doing some cool shit, let me know. I'd appreciate it. Guys, this is Big C, and I'll be back soon with a little more.